Hello, today is going to be very interesting because we found an old model of the hall buried deep within. I think it's about 30 plus years old and we have contacted the person who made it and they're gonna come and pick up this model, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm gonna show you some updates of what's going on inside the hall. So we're kind of juxtaposing. We're juxtaposing today, people. We're juxtaposing the model with the works on the hall. A little bit interesting. We're getting a little bit arty over here. But before we do that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. So I'm just waiting on Bill, who is the original builder of the old model that is of Hopwood Hall as it originally stood as a timber framed hall. So that would have been before the exterior bricks were over it when it was just plaster and timbers. So we found it in an old locked storage room and we were amazed to find it, but it was falling apart. We got a hold of Bill miraculously and he agreed to come up here and take a look and determine what needs to be done and if it can be repaired. So is it strange to be looking at something you did in 1974 and thinking about redoing it? The thing about yeah. redoing it is the problem. <laughs> not the, th not the thing that it's been made. When you look at it, you know, like, you know where do I start with this lot? You know, it's a, it's, <laughs> and some of it's still, still, still hanging together. So how many hours had you put in on this in 1974? I couldn't tell you how many hours because it was, I was doing it as part of my course. Mm. And my main subject was arts and design. It's like a jigsaw, isn't it? Good thing I got the pattern in my head. So here's the servant's wing a few months ago, and here it is now. We can see some of the works happening here on the old servant's wing. The scaffolding has gone up. And part of that is going to be to remove some of the old pointing that was crumbling and falling out. So you can see here is some of the brick that has been chipped out. This is all gonna be repointed and just making this area much more stable and protecting the brick. Some areas were crumbling, other areas had the wrong type of mortar that was put in. It was a cement-based mortar, which is a no-no, and that damages the brick and holds the moisture, retains the moisture. Not a good thing, as I've learned. All of it's been pulled out, chipped out, and now will be repointed with mortar that will be the right color, the right specifications that will have approved through Historic England. It'll be made with sand and ash and will match the color to what was originally on the hall. We can go up to the roof and we can see these chimneys that are gonna be repointed and repaired. And I can finally access the tree but I've been told not to pull it out because it actually could make the chimney crumble. So we're gonna make sure it's stabilized first. Once it's stabilized and we're sure that pulling the tree out won't damage it further, then we will remove that tree. This is the roof we're dealing with. These holes in there, all of this is gonna be fixed and go back to being a slate roof with 25 tons of slate going on same thing on this side. Back here, you can really get an idea of the scale of the works that need to be done. It's a lot of chimneys, a lot of roof, and a lot of repairs. These trusses here, these two main trusses, that's the one that you can still see upstairs when you go upstairs and, and uh, you see the, in the wall. Those main trusses are made of softwood. The main structure, most of it, and all of the timber beaming and everything is all made of ramen. You're used to be able to get ram in the different sizes. It's like a hardwood. The panels in between here are all uh, polystyrene, expanded polystyrene. Uh, these are softwood, then covered in, in uh, cardboard. And this is actually bits of old lino that were all painted, uh, all the tiles, cut to size and, and, and painted up. I'd start by taking everything loose off it. No point leaving it on. I'd probably start working at one end. This this corner here, that has to be made structurally sound like you would with a house. Until you get the structure sound, there's no point putting uh, rafters in and, and slate lasts and things because they've got nothing to hang on to. What you fasten to is loose. And then we come into this room. This was all collapsing in here. If you remember from one of our previous videos, 
full of dry rot and mold. It couldn't be saved in this area. So we had the construction crew come in and clear it out. It's now three stories high. So it really gives a feeling of what this area has the potential to become. You can see here where these old floor joists were and throughout gives you an idea of the ceiling height, which is pretty low because people were a lot shorter back then. We may go a bit higher on the floors here. Up here we have this little ladder. This is pretty cool. I'll show you up here. So this is one of the areas that was inaccessible and now we're in here. What a cool room this is. Some of the windows are still boarded up and it will just be so great to bring this back to what it was. This was probably a servant's bedroom. Here's an old stairway that goes up here. Where are we? This is really cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is that, is that a skylight? <laughs> <laughs> we got trees growing through here. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is an area I have never been in all oh, the years I've been I've coming here. This is incredible. Wow. What do you think this was? I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite amazing, really. It really is. But what a brilliant room this would be. Yeah. So how are we going to get this thing out of here? <laughs> That's the question. Now, assuming it's... Yeah, it's not going to break. That's all right. I've got this plastic sheet here. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. And fold this, and we thought we're going to put it underneath. Um, we'll be able to wrap the top and the two ends over, sure. and then the sides over. Okay. And then protect it inside. Then. Thank you so much. Yeah, we look forward to seeing how it goes and returning it to the hall. All right, I've got word that Bill is here. He is out front and he's got the model. Four months have passed since he left with it. And now we're gonna see what he has. Bill. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You've got it. Yep, definitely oh got it. Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. I cannot wait to see this. Wow, it looks taller. It is because the chimneys are back on. Really? The chimneys were missing before. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. This is just incredible. At least it's intact now. The That's whole lot, yeah. every piece had to be taken off, cleaned up, sanded down, glue removed, and then oh, repa gosh. replaced and redone. Some of the things had to be remade. All the roof is remade. This is all new roof. Really? Because the old roof was uh, had given up. So I've replaced all the roof. So what thing. is this, what is the roof made out of? It's made of Foamex, which is a very thin plastic sheet. And on this wow. side, they can actually see inside to see how it's constructed and what the rooms were and everything else. Yeah, they can really learn about the construction oh, yeah. and the Absolutely. history. Yeah. And yeah. This is a lot of hours. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> full time for, for four, what, four months, four and a half is months. Is it really? Yeah. So what, have you been putting everything else aside? Yeah. Does your, does no your garden, family know you no exist? Cleaning, no cleaning, nothing. No, no, is your house just six feet high in weeds? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All this staircase collapsed completely as I was doing it. So I placed the back, but then you can't fasten, you can't glue it all together just in one piece. You have to glue a little bit, then the next bit, and then the next bit, and let that set each time before putting the next piece on. So these are all little clamps. So I had to get a load of these little clamps. The, the staircase is glued to the, the newel post in the center, which runs from top to bottom, right the way through up to the roof, and also glues onto the walls at the back. Thank you so much. This no is just, I mean, it's just incredible. I'm absolutely blown away. Okay, shh, here come the friends are coming in. Come on down. Look at what we have here. Oh, that's a fabulous job. Oh. Sorry. The wedding Lovely. Wedding yes. Oh, you can see inside, yeah. 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 Oh, you've done an amazing job. It's all about it. Oh, right. so it is. Nice. Absolutely. I, I didn't think it would be possible to bring it back. Now it's incredible. Well, if it's possible to build it, it should be possible to fix sure. it. Yeah, well, yeah, you've got a lot of patience. That's, that's really intricate stuff. 
Yeah. 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 Obviously, cut it all out. Solomon's yourself. on the side there, mm -hmm. doing a quiet job, quietly. And you've obviously made everything yourself by hand. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. All right. Thanks to Bill and all his amazing hard work and determination, the hall has the model back. We're so excited. And seeing it refurbished makes us realize, yes, we can do this with the actual hall itself. So if you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted about the latest content. And if you wanna see more videos, please join us on Patreon, because we put out multiple videos there every week. Thanks.